Good day, friends. It is me, HL My Tech, and I've got an idea for a scribble bug. So let's get cracking. Friends, a little while back, we made this sweet tinker bug, and I've got an idea for how we can make it in scribble. So, my friends, start by opening Tinkercad, of course, rename it, and I'm going to call this one scribble bug. And as usual, I will put my initials after it. Now we're going to build it out of one chunk of scribble. That's what makes this cool. All right, friends, so we are going to go about five centimeters. Each one of these big boxes is a centimeter, so I'm going to drag this across. There's one, two, three, four, and then I'm going to make an arch that comes up about one and a half centimeters. If you've got a part you don't like, you can just fill it in later. We want to make this thick enough so that it can bend, so I'm kind of doing two lines. And because this is a scribble bug, it's going to be ish. There are parts of it that just aren't going to be as pretty, but the technique is what's going to be awesome. So right here, I'm going to clear this, and I'm going to slice this off with the eraser. And then I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to draw the head. Once again, it's going to be a little bit above. It's got that same angle. It's going to come out and then it's going to come up and be a little bit rounded. I'm making sure I'm leaving room for teeth here, and I'm filling it all in. Do not worry about eyes at this time. Those will all happen later. I'm going to erase a chunk back here. Notice when I erase this, I'm cutting on this angle here, but then I'm going on this angle here, and I'm leaving a gap so that later when we connect the neck, it's at the right angle. I'm going to add just a little bit more meat here, erase the part that I don't like, erase the part that I don't like. One trick for erasing these straight is to slice with this guy. It's easier to drag a straight line. And the more you practice, the better you get at it. When you're finally happy, then you can just roll with it. That's a pretty decently straight line. I do want this to be a different gap here between these. So I'm just going to erase between them. And that I think is pretty cool. I'm going to fill this in and then friend, oops, I'm going to fill this one back in and I'm going to add the bottom jaw. So I've got a top of his head, a bottom jaw and a body. To do the teeth, I'm going to use this shape right here. Notice I just go up and down to do a triangle. And I'm just making these ish. They're not going to be perfect, but it may end up being something unbelievably cool. Notice these teeth are in between. And with these being scribble bugs, everybody's can be a little different. This is the finished first piece. When we hit done, we need to set its width to 2.5. You can try different ones, but this is what I liked. And now I'm going to change this from whatever it was to 45 because I found that prints pretty fast. I want to make this a little taller instead of 18 I'm going to try 28 but that's thicker than I want so I'm going to back it down and I'm going to try 26. Once I've got this to where I am happy with it I'm going to do control D and move the second piece over here and friends if we double click it all we need to do is erase this chunk right here. Erase, pop pop, 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 pop. And then when you've got that all cleaned up, you'll notice there's a nice gap so that those won't touch and hit done. And we need to change its size from two and a half to two. Now to make this super clear, I'm going to tell you, put this one as green, put this one as blue. We need one more green one. So click on it and do control D and drag it to this spot. Double click on the new green one and this needs to connect to the head. It's that easy. Hit your done button and we want to change it to size 4. And now we need to quickly add an eye to this one. If you double click it you can get in, switch to your eraser, draw whatever kind of eye you think is cool. I'm going to give them a little nostril out here too. And I'm going to hit done. And real quickly, let's make this dude a crazy color. I'm going to make him bright pink. And watch the order for stacking. Work plane. Click the blue one. D to drop. And get it close. Work plane. Click the green one. 
click your pink one, D to drop, and get it close. So we're making like a sandwich here. We want the green one to be on top of the pink one, so it's work plane, control D, and then D to drop. So blue, green, pink, green, put your work plane on top of the last one, click on the bottom one, control D and D to make the entire bug sandwich. Put your work plane on the ground, select them all. Let's do a line and click the bottom and back left. And friends, you have just built an epically cool scribble bug. All right, friends, so as you can tell, I am on the road traveling, so I cannot test this. But if somebody wanted to make one of these and show me what it looked like, that would be unbelievably cool. Remember, you can always reach out by using the collaborate button. Once you generate a link, you can copy the link and you can ship to me. Friends, you can always find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Gmail. I am HL Mod Tech on all of those. You can also find me at HL Tinkercad. Lastly, friends, if you visit HLModTech.com, you can use the messaging button and reach out to me almost instantly. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.